What's going on dreamers? My name is Acer and in this video I'm going to be showing you a better way to generate random numbers. So before I go over what I want to show you in this video, I, I, ju I just want to go over really quick um, the way that you guys probably use and then why it's not that great. Uh, and that's the randomizer. That's the randomized gadget. Now, it can generate a number from 0 to 9. It can do less than that, but um, if you lower the number of ports. But if you have 10 ports, it, it generates a random number from 0 to 9. And that's great. That's great. Um, and it works. It definitely, it definitely works. And you could also, you could even do like a number from 0 to 99. Uh, How would you do that? You could, you can get a second randomizer. Uh, one, one randomizer is for the tens place and one is for the ones place. So if we multiply the tens place one by 10, so we're multiplying uh, this one by 10 and then we're putting this one directly into it. So if we add these two together, it's going to generate a number from zero to 99. So you'll have to take my word for it. We can't we can't test every combo, but um, this is a number from zero to ninety nine. Now, if you want to start getting like more specific with the ranges, you can't. You you just can't. Trust trust me. <laughs> um, it, it's just not going to work. And that's where this method starts to break down. If if you want to if you want to have like let's say twenty to thirty five, you you cannot do that. So that's why I want to show you a better technique. And I've actually already made it for you, and it's on the Dreamiverse. So if we search, if we search random, I think if we just search random, but I'm going to do random number. If we search random number, the first thing that pops up, I'm pretty sure it's not because it's by me, but it's just because it's the most popular thing. The first thing that pops up is the random number generator. This random number generator takes in a maximum, a minimum, and then a randomize input. So if randomize is on, that means it'll it'll start randomizing. If randomize is off, it'll save the number. So if we if we put randomize on and we start sliding the maximum up, okay, we're we're probably gonna want to show decimals. You can see it's randomizing like crazy. And then if we shut this off, it freezes and you have your random number. Uh, we can also go negative. So this is now a random number between negative 3.4 and 1. And if we turn randomize off, it will choose a random number. So this this chip is a lot better. It's a lot better than using the randomized gadgets because you can set the range to whatever you want. You're probably thinking, uh, Acer, I don't want those decimals. I, I don't want those decimals. I just want an integer. Well, uh, just just round. Just just use the just use the round uh, calculator, and you will get your integer. You will get your integer. There you go. So now I'm going to show you how it works. This gadget, this uh, random number generator, it takes advantage of the signal generator. It takes advantage of the signal generator. So in the signal generator, you can set the max, and you can set the min, and the max and the min have a range. It has a range. And the max and min are chosen at random within that range. Okay? So, um, for example, if you, set the, if you set the max value range to negative 3.4 min to 63, and then if you set the min value range to negative 3.4 to 63... It is essentially just going to a random number because the min and the max ranges are exactly the same. So if we just play, I mean, it's here. You know what? Let's put the sweep up so you can actually see every every time it changes directions, it's to a, it's just to a random number. It's to a completely random number every every one point five seconds. Now you're probably wondering how did you set those ranges to be the same? I used a combiner. So even though 
even though you only have one you only have one input to this it's a fat wire right it's a fat wire so if you use a four number combiner into this into this uh, input you can you can individually set all of these and that's what I did a and C are the minimums for both of these ranges and B and D are the maximums for both of these ranges so that's what I did I took them in and put it into A and C and I took the max and put it into B and D and this allows you to set the max and min for the for the ranges if we set the sweep to zero every frame it's choosing a different random number how do we get the, that random number we pass that random number in through a signal manipulator and if we unfreeze it, um, you can see every frame the number's changing, and to and to like hold that number to to freeze that number, we just turn on freeze. It, it's it's literally that easy. We turn on freeze. Um, so we have we have it going through a not gate. So when when randomize is on, this not gate turns off, turning off freeze. So the value is allowed to go through. When uh, when this switch is off, this NOT gate turns on, which freezes the number. So it, it stores the number in this uh, signal manipulator. And that's how it works. It, it's that easy. So guys, I, I really hope uh, I hope this video helped. If you need additional Dreams help, I stream Dreams on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. If I'm not streaming, you can find me on Discord and Twitter. But anyway, guys, I really hope this video helped. Uh, I hope to see you around and have a great rest of your day. I just wanna be with you, I just wanna be